Hey, uh, Chef Ronnie here from Tiki's Grill and Bar. He's doing a little seasoning of this ribeye, which, which Chef, you say absolutely is the best grilling cut of meat. And in my opinion, it certainly is, yeah. yeah. So you're putting on a little rock salt there. Wine salt, fresh cracked pepper. Yeah. You want to keep it simple, right? It's about yeah. the quality of the meat. Okay, so uh, we're going to throw these on the grill. Let's take a quick look at the weather, and we'll be back with more with uh, Chef Ronnie. Here, he's doing three different things. We saw the ribeye, which is uh, looking good. Now, you've got a couple other things. Your, your mother-in-law's calbi is uh, on the grill. Yep, that's, that's my mother-in-law's calbi recipe. It's real simple. Show you sugar, uh, less sugar than show you. Sesame oil, sesame seeds, onions, and a lot of fresh cracked pepper. Yeah, you're going to a restaurant. Nothing, nothing weird. Yeah, well, you go to restaurants. They talk about putting crazy stuff on there. Uh, you know, soft drinks, that sort of thing. But, they, but yeah, they put they put seven up because of the phosphoric acid. It's about the quality of the meat. People put papaya when they want to break the meat down. Yeah. It's about good quality meat. That's all that's important. You don't okay. need anything weird in there. Okay, so that's your mother-in-law's recipe. Now you're holding uh, portobello mushrooms. This is your mom's this is recipe. My, this is my mom used to do. It was an alternative to not eating meat, right? She wanted to eat something more healthy. She would just put some Caesar salad dressing and marinate it on portobello mushrooms or eggplants and then make a, make a burger out of it. Okay. Uh, and we want to talk here in a minute about the, the winemaker uh, meal you got coming up uh, middle of the month, 15th of September. But I wanted, he was just showing me this down here. Joel, if you can show that, little spray bottle, uh, which you use when there's flare-ups. What's in here? It's, it's just red wine. So red wine? I've never heard of that. It's like a little spritzer. So the idea is... Well, I've heard of red wine, but just not... <laughs> Depending on how you trim, your ribeye can flare up a lot. A lot of meats with fat that are great grilling meats are going to flare up on you. And then there's not much flare-up because it's pretty in control here. And I trimmed a lot of the, the tail fat off of these. But when you have some flare-up and you want some flavor, you can put water or beer right. or wine. Yeah. It's just another way to add simple flavor to something and give it a sheen, right? Okay, let's get back to the steaks. So you're throwing them on there. Do you have a science to how much time on each side or do you flip it more than once? That certainly depends on the thickness of the cut. Okay. Uh, you don't want a thin steak when it comes to a ribeye, uh, so it cooks through too easily. You know, you want to go medium rare or medium on a ribeye. You know, I don't really care to eat it raw. It has a lot of fat, right? Um, Calbi, obviously, you only want to cook it through. A little bit of char flavor on there is good. Oh, that looks good. I have to say at home, my mother-in-law, she, she only cooks them in the oven. They never actually grill them. Oh, really? Talk about Korean barbecue, but my, my wife and her mom never actually grill anything. Hey, let's talk about the, the, the event on the 15th. Uh, it's coming up, and it's at Tiki's Grilling Bar, which is in the Aston, by the way, near the end of Waikiki, and there's free valet parking, and you've got a great winemaker's meal coming up on the 15th. Yep, it's, yep, it's going to be awesome. Uh, six courses, a couple of raw mousse-bouche courses. We're doing bone marrow. I'm actually getting some capra, some, some goat rack, oh, wow. but it's not local goat. It's like rack of lamb goat. Okay. It's like the good stuff. Not that the local stuff's not, but we're not going to curry it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, so that's the 15th, and you can uh, see the information here on screen, or uh, you can get to our website later if you're not able to write that down, and we'll have all the details. Tiki's Grill and Bar in the Aston. Uh, oh, the Calbi is looking good. The steak is delicious. The portobello mushrooms, uh, which you starting with right here? Uh, I'm going to do a little Calbi. Calbi, Calbi. Uh, it's all about the quality of the meat, and then uh, some special tricks here from our friend Chef Ronnie from Tiki's Grill and Bar. Uh, if you're doing some grilling on this holiday weekend, I uh, hope it turns out as good as this is looking. Uh, have a great holiday weekend. Chef, Chef, thanks so much. You're welcome. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah, they think the dog wants a little bit there as well. Okay, we'll take a break. We'll be back with more Sunrise on this Aloha Friday. Hey! Just a couple of minutes. Check in with our in-house Calbee expert, uh, Grace Lee. You know, beef, it's what's for breakfast. <laughs> That's right. And the Calbee is delicious. The ribeye, the portobello mushrooms. Man, I, that's I, good. Oh, my gosh. It's so. In, what do you think? Very oishi. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fingers are useful in a time like this. <laughs> okay. Delicious grilling from Tiki's Grill and Bar. Thanks to Chef Ronnie. We hope your grilling turns out half as good as this yeah, has. No kidding. This yeah. is amazing <laughs> stuff. Then we're just stay here. Yeah, we're just going to stay here for the 8 o'clock hour. No. <laughs> Happy Friday. Have a great weekend.